okay now uh, we have uh, we have eq1 we have eq2 and uh, and we have actual y so here are three things eq1 yf means the here i'm saying eq1 yf this one is actually forecasted value of y having serial correlation right having serial correlations and eq2 by yf this one is the forecasted value of y having no serial correlation and y is actual value right actual value of y so you can see this one this one and this one so so what we shall do these three we shall plot and check that whether uh, whether they are moving together or not and secondly out of these two out of these two uh, out of these two well, we, which one is moving closer to y whether this one or this one which one is closer to actual y that we want to check that is why uh, we must plot it so i'm going to plot it first i open all the very all the all the thing as a group it is open already right it is open already so this one is for uh, the model having serial correlations and this one model uh, uh, no serial correlation right and you know these are only four years forecast right and y is the actual value of y so and, and so uh, so wha what I need to do I need to make a graph graph of these three things right I go to quick graph and you can see we have three variable here EQYF EQ2Y and Y three variables right you can see from here three variables are here and uh, I shall draw the graph of these three variable so the graph is coming up soon and line and symbol I choose okay uh, this is the uh, okay uh, what I do I make it big so that you can see better I make it very big first I take it up gradually I make it big very big right I went very big okay I don't know how big I can do finally I'll try my best to make it as big as possible so that you can see better the whole pictures is coming up here yes okay Okay, 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 it's coming up. I think I cannot do more than that. Okay. Can I do more than that? Okay, okay, here is the story, is something like this. Okay, here you can see, uh, I think I have done the biggest size that I can do right mm. okay 
I think it is the biggest. Can I make it further? Yes. Can do. I can make it further big, right? So big. Okay. This side. Take it up. Now it is uh, okay. So here you can see uh, this uh, this green line is actual y this is the actual y right the green line actual y and the actual y from from the you know from here to here actual y is here and eq1 yf so this one is the for for forecasting of equation 1 and the color is some blue right meaning that this one meaning that this one sorry meaning that you see from 1991 until 1994 right only four years forecast you see from here right and this one the color is red is this one right the red color okay and the question is that out of these two uh, which one is closer to actual y out of these two which one is closer so from here we can see the the line the the color which is red the line which is red is closer to actual y so meaning that eq2 yf is better than eq1 yf right so that we can see here very clearly that eq2 yf is closer to the actual y than eq1 yf right why because eq2 yf has no problem no serial correlation no other thing that is why the predictive power of the eq2 is better that is why the predictive power of eq2 is better that means the model eq2 is better than model eq1 and also uh, we have seen the root mean square error of eq2 is smaller than root mean square error of eq1 that we have already seen so now we shall be using this model not this model right for our all statistical activities for our forecasting and so on Thank you very much for being with me for a while. You can see the terms condition of this uh, whole lectures terms and conditions right whole lectures are here 
terms of uses of the things right and so on.